today on the Health Informer, Butyrate. What is butyrate? Butyrate is a short-chain fatty acid. Fatty acids are the building blocks of fats that our cells need to function. To make butyrate, your gut bacteria transform dietary fibers found in whole plant foods. These are called prebiotics because they nourish and encourage the health-promoting activities of beneficial bacteria in the gut microbiome. Butyrate is the preferred energy source for the cells in your colon wall. It is essential for maintaining a healthy barrier between the colon and bloodstream, and it prevents inflammation in the gut. Unlike most other cells in your body which use sugar as their main energy source, the cells in the lining of your gut mainly use butyrate. Without butyrate, these cells would not be able to carry out their functions correctly. Butyrate production depends largely on the pH of the large intestine. Bacteria that produce butyrate thrive in a more acidic environment, whereas bacteria that produce other small chain fatty acids, such as acetate and propionate, prefer a more alkaline environment. The good. Butyrate is a major energy source for colon cells. It is believed to help prevent colon cancer. It increases mitochondrial activity. It prevents toxins from crossing the gut barrier, improves insulin sensitivity, promotes healthy weight, fights inflammation, prevents the growth of pathogenic bacteria, and protects the brain. How does butyrate work? Butyrate inhibits HDAC, an enzyme that packs up DNA into tight, compact structures and prevents it from being expressed. In other words, butyrate loosens up DNA structures and increases gene expression. Drugs that inhibit HDAC are currently used to manage bipolar disorder and prevent epileptic seizures. Early research suggests that they may also be effective antidepressants. Butyrate is very important to your entire body, and many studies and labs show tremendous promise. However, there still remains a lack of major clinical testing on human subjects. Therefore, always speak with your doctor before supplementing with this or any supplement. Important functions of butyrate. Gut health. Butyrate is essential for maintaining a healthy environment in the gut. In the human colon, anaerobic bacteria ferment carbohydrates and produce short-chain fatty acids, acetate, propionate, and butyrate. Colon cell energy source. Butyrate nourishes the colon wall, maintains a healthy lining and barrier function of the colon, and prevents intestinal inflammation. In the mitochondria of colon cells, 70 to 90 percent of butyrate is oxidized, which is then used to generate large quantities of ATP, the primary form of cellular energy. If you don't have enough butyrate-producing bacteria in your gut, you may be more likely to develop diarrhea, inflammatory bowel disease, and even colon cancer. Inflammatory bowel disease. Short-chain fatty acids, especially butyrate, can reduce the symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease. In one study of people with Crohn's disease, a type of IBD, butyrate supplements improved 69% of cases, with symptoms completely disappearing in 54%. Diarrhea and gut inflammation. Resistant starch is a type of soluble fiber that your gut bacteria can ferment to butyrate. A diet containing lots of resistant starch improved diarrhea in one trial. Butyrate can also prevent inflammation in stomach ulcers caused by alcohol. Mice given butyrate before alcohol had less inflammation and damage to the lining of their stomachs. Sodium butyrate in combination with other short-chain fatty acids and silicon dioxide was also shown to benefit traveler's diarrhea, a condition common among those who travel to exotic countries. Inflammation Butyrate suppresses the activity of cells and proteins that drive inflammation. In one study on human cells, butyrate drastically reduced the activity of IL-12, an inflammatory cytokine, while increasing IL-10, which is generally anti-inflammatory. In mice, butyrate-producing dietary fibers counteracted inflammation and illness caused by bacterial toxins. The inflammatory cytokines inhibited by butyrate included IL-1, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interferon gamma. B12 deficiency can also be caused by conditions affecting the stomach and intestines. People who have atropic gastritis, helicobacter pylori, or a genetic condition that causes a lack of intrinsic factor can all cause B12 deficiency. 
Another cause can be people who have had Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or who have had surgery to remove part or all of the stomach or the end of the small intestine. Immune response. Butyrate may reduce inflammation by increasing the activity of immune cells called regulatory T cells or Tregs. These specialized cells stop other immune cells in their tracks before they lose control. In turn, Tregs prevent the lining of the gut from overreacting to harmless food proteins. Gut barrier. Butyrate also strengthens the barrier formed by cells in the colon wall, thus preventing microbes and bacterial toxins from invading the bloodstream. Inflammation due to aging. As we grow older, inflammation increases throughout our bodies. In aging mice, a diet high in fiber that produces butyrate counteracted age-related increases in inflammation, suggesting that butyrate may be especially helpful to elderly. Human studies will be required to confirm this benefit, however. Fine-tuning the immune system. As an HDAC inhibitor, butyrate adjusts the immune system in a number of ways. HDAC inhibitors improve the tumor targeting abilities of immune cells like T cells and natural killer cells. They are currently under investigation as a potential cancer drug. This class of compounds also reduces many inflammatory signals and increases Tregs, a type of white blood cell that prevents allergies and autoimmunity. Butyrate more specifically protects the gut barrier and prevents pathogens and other harmful agents from crossing into the bloodstream. Brain and nerve cells. The gut and microbiome strongly affect the brain. Your gut bacteria talk to your cells by releasing butyrate, which as an HDAC inhibitor turns on certain genes. Cognition. Butyrate may improve learning and long-term memory. Similar to exercise, sodium butyrate increased brain-derived neurotrophic factor in mice. Simply put, butyrate supplies brain food to the hippocampus, the brain's hub for memory and emotions. This gives birth to new neurons called neurogenesis, a process that can reshape the brain. This effect has been repeated multiple times in animals, and probiotics containing butyrate-producing bacteria have been associated with reduced stress in humans. Brain injury. There's a huge overlap between cognitive enhancement and recovery from brain damage. Both rely on neurogenesis, a process that replenishes and reshapes the brain. In a mouse study, sodium butyrate given after a stroke supported the development of new nerve cells in the damaged areas. It also strengthened the blood-brain barrier in mice with brain trauma, which helped them to recover. Butyrate-producing bacteria also strengthened this barrier in mice. Weight regulation. Supplementation of short-chain fatty acids, including butyrate, has been shown to promote good gut bacteria leading to weight loss in laboratory tests. In a trial of overweight people, butyrate-producing fiber supplements also led to reduced body weight and BMI. In another trial, short-chain fatty acids delivered directly into the colon increased the amount of fat being burned and energy being spent. In mice, the short-chain fatty acids, butyrate and propionate, but not acetate, prevented obesity and insulin resistance caused by a poor diet. Blood sugar regulation. People with diabetes often have gut flora imbalances. Less butyrate tends to be produced in their guts. A review study found that butyrate helped control blood sugar in both animals and humans with type 2 diabetes. Human studies have also reported associations between fermentable dietary fiber and improved blood sugar control. Additionally, in diabetic mice, butyrate decreased blood hemoglobin A1c, inflammatory cytokines, and liposaccharides, and also strengthen the gut bacteria. Allergies. Sodium butyrate improves symptoms and biological markers of allergy in mice with allergic rhinitis, hay fever. Liver and pancreas. Sodium butyrate prevented mice from developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, an inflammatory disease caused by fat building up in the liver. Sodium butyrate also blocked inflammation and protected the pancreas from inflammation in mice. Heart health. In a combined mouse and cell study, sodium butyrate prevented hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, by inhibiting inflammation. Cancer research. Butyrate has shown anti-cancer effects in cell studies. It inhibited tumor growth by promoting programmed cell death of cancer cells against colon cancer. In multiple cell studies, 
Butyrate prevented the growth of tumor cells and encouraged cancer cell destruction in the colon. Several review studies show a link between high-fiber diets which feed butyrate-producing bacteria and reduce risk of colon cancer in humans. Treatment of B12 deficiency. Treatment will depend on the reason for the vitamin B12 deficiency. In most cases, having B12 injections or taking a prescribed oral supplement will be sufficient to treat the condition. Your doctor may recommend having high-dose injections of vitamin B12, usually in the form called hydroxycholobalmin, every second day for two weeks or until the symptoms have cleared. Butyrate side effects and safety. Butyrate is considered safe and beneficial in the quantities normally produced by a healthy gut flora. Food sources. You can get butyrate from food. For example, butyric acid is abundant in dairy products, especially butter. Eating more fiber increases butyrate production in some bacteria in your gut. Treatment of B12 deficiency. Treatment will depend on the reason for the vitamin B12 deficiency. In most cases, having B12 injections or taking a prescribed oral supplement will be sufficient to treat the condition. Your doctor may recommend having high-dose injections of vitamin B12, usually in the form called hydroxycholobalmin, every second day for two weeks or until the symptoms have cleared. Depending on the composition of your gut flora, the following fibers may encourage them to produce short-chain fatty acids, including butyrate. Inulin, which includes artichokes, garlic, leeks, onions, and asparagus, fruits and vegetables, including bananas, onions, garlic, and asparagus, pectin, from apples, apricots, carrots, oranges, and others, oat bran, gargum, and potato or plantain starch flowers. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should probably not take butyrate, and remember, you should always speak with your doctor before starting any supplement. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.